and welcome to Inspire. Today we have our friend from, well, up north from me, Miss Kira Waranuk from Hello. Alberta. Hello, hello. Hi. So glad that you could join us today, an area leader up there in Canada. And um, you've been with us for almost seven years, right? Yes, that's right. It'll be seven years this June, and I'm very excited. Very exciting. And how did you originally find Senegence? I actually used to be a teacher before Senegence. So I was a teacher for five years. And then when I was on maternity leave with my son, I was scrolling Facebook, as a lot of people do. And I saw a whole bunch of people doing this. I think this was all the rage. And I, for some reason, got it in my head that I needed to try this magic lipstick that didn't go anywhere. I didn't wear a whole lot of makeup, maybe gloss, like foundation, mascara, but I've never been super well-versed in the makeup or beauty universe. So, but for some reason, I think it's because I was a new mom and I think subconsciously I was looking for something to help me feel more put together. And I could not get it out of my head that I had to find this magic lip sense. And I quickly discovered that you couldn't just go buy it at a store. I didn't know what direct sales was. I didn't know what network marketing was. And I was chatting with my friend about lip sense one day and she's like, yeah, I actually use it and I love it. Here's the name of my distributor. She passed on the name to me and I became a, a very active customer <laughs> buying buying and buying and buying lip sense. And yeah, then I was asked to sign up. I said no a few times, but I could not get it out of my head that maybe I too could be one of these girls that does this and has some fun selling makeup. So. And when, so when did that happen? Cause obviously it did here. We are seven years later. So uh, when was the moment from like how long after you had purchased, did you decide to become a distributor? I I think it was a few months. I think it took me a few months um, to actually, you know, envision myself doing this because the distributor that I was buying from, it just looked like she was having so much fun and she was unboxing things and she was trying on new colors and it didn't, it didn't look like rocket science to me. It looked like something fun and something that could just be for me. So I talked to my husband about it didn't ask permission. Okay. Cause we don't need to do that. But he, the first thing he said to me was, do you want to do this? And I said, yeah, I want to give it a go. So gave it a go. And here we are. Rest is history. Mm -hmm. So, um, you are, you primarily were online and we were talking about this before we hit record. Um, you have been doing more in person lately because you were going for some goals. Can you talk about that experience and how um, it kind of shifted your perspective a little? Yeah, so I, this past seminar year, our year ends at the end of March, I've been going for my elite makeup artist certification. I already have achieved my first makeup artist certification as well as my Senna Skin Pro Advisor. And every time I do one of these, I find that when I'm connecting with people in person, I am much better able to, well, first of all, look at their skin, look at their features, look at what they're wearing. And I'm better able to recommend colors and products that are going to suit them. And what I've really learned, and I have been kind of in a like running buddy group with some other Canadians going for their elite MUA this past year. So we've been chatting all year long, helping each other out. And I remember one day after one of my makeovers that I just had to share with them how energized I felt and how connected to the person I was putting makeup on, like how connected I felt with them and how much I want to do that more. It doesn't necessarily mean I want to become a makeup artist for a job, but I have really learned that I love connecting with people one-on-one -on -one and seeing them look in the mirror afterwards and just light up just makes my whole entire day. So doing those programs like MUA, Elite MUA, Senna Skin have really reinforced in me that I still do love and need an in-person aspect to this business as much 
as I love working online as well. Yeah, I think one of the things you had said earlier, human connection is key. It is key. And we we forget about that. And I think we're all kind of starting to get back into the mindset that actually, yes, interacting with humans in person is actually a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. And um, you're an area leader with us. Congratulations on that. Thank you. What do you love most about being an area leader? I really love that. So I don't have a direct upline anymore. And I think that a lot of people, if they're in my position, sometimes we call ourselves orphans because we used to have a leader and maybe they've moved on. I think that sometimes we can get in a negative mindset of, well, I'm not achieving this, that, or the other thing because I don't have a leader, because I don't have an upline. And I think that that's a really poor excuse because as much as having leadership is really nice for encouragement and things like that. It is not the be all and end all of our business. There's a reason that we're called independent distributors. It's because it's our business, our way, and we're the only ones in control of that. But that being said, we all love encouragement and we all love, you know, somebody patting us on the back. So as an area leader, I really love that I have been able to support people that Maybe they do have an upline or a great leader, or maybe they don't, but it's nice to just connect with people in my province more specifically and just be a face and somebody that they can talk to if they ever do have questions or, you know, need encouragement or need a little bit of extra support. So that's what I really love about being an area leader. I also love that we're really encouraged at least once a quarter to hold in-person events. And so I feel like I'm much closer with the ladies in my province, as well as my personal team members. We've really grown, you know, to get to know each other. So yeah, that's, that's what I love. I love, again, the human connection is making another appearance here. That's great. Uh, And speaking of human connection, uh, what are you most proud of in the past almost seven years of being with Senegents? Oh my gosh, a lot. I think um, a lot. I think just, you know, being able to set my mind to something and achieve it. Like I've been working really hard, especially in this past month to reach a sales goal to complete my elite makeup artist certification. And I've really, really loved getting to know myself more as a, like as a business owner. And, um, I've just really learned that when I actually do put my mind to something, I can achieve it. And that really excites me for the future as well. I think that answered the question. (laughs) And you said earlier, uh, before we were recording that you built this business during nap time. And now that your children are older, we're seven years in, how do you see the next seven years with your business? Yeah, so that's true. I definitely, when I started this business, my son, who's now seven, was just one year old. And I really did start building this business during nap time. And that, I hope that's inspiring for other people too, that, you know, have really busy lives and think that they don't have time to work this business. If you want to give it a go, you only need you know, those little nooks and crannies of your day. And um, yeah, and it, it, it's it been really exciting because my business has evolved and changed every single year because my kids have gotten older and because I've been able to have a bit more flexibility and more time in my day. So next year, I'm going to have two kids in school full time, which really excites me. And people actually ask sometimes, they're like, what are you going to do with all of your spare time? And I tell them, I'm going to work. I'm so excited to work on my Senegence business. And I know that not a lot of people can say like, I'm excited to work during my spare time, but this business is so fun and it's so rewarding that I'm, I'm just excited to see where I go with even just a little bit more time. Well, we know that you're going to go far for sure. Thank you so much for being an inspiration to so many. Thanks for being here. 
Thank you.